Okay. Well, it's my second time trying this. For some reason, the video didn't have any sound. But look, I'm getting my John Deere L110 ready um, to use today a little bit, but I'm really getting it ready for tomorrow. All right. So I'm taking you through the process. Uh, we're going to do a little something extra with the deck. Uh, I want to know if any of you do this to the deck, too. Uh, you'll see it at the ending part, what I'm going to do to the deck. But right now, um, getting ready to see if it'll start. I try to at least come out once a month since I don't use this more, maybe three or four times a year. Uh, I try to come out once a month and start it up, you know, uh, see how it'll do. So I think I've started it this month. If not this month, I know I definitely started it in May. All right. So we'll get ready. We'll check the oil and um, crossing my fingers because, you know, all you got to do is try to make a video on something. And, hey, that's when it's going to show out on you. So right now I'm going to show you the oil. I know I changed it at the beginning of the season or last season. So that's that Cola Command 17.5 there. So we see the oil is a little low. So I'll top that off, but we're going to see if we can get a start here and then we'll start the process. So I'm putting the camera back down and we're going to give her a turn. See what happens here. All right. So we turn and what happened? It did fire up, but it only stayed running. I got too excited. You see the smoke? And that was as long as it lasted right there. <laughs> and I kept turning it over and turning it over, turning it over till I killed the battery. You know, and uh, I turned the camera off right here and started doing some dissecting. Um, took the air filter cover off. Uh, sprayed some two-cycle uh gas in the um, intake uh, to see if I could get it to do something there but none of that worked so I eventually uh, had to go get the battery charger because I killed the battery and right now I got a running because I um, had to end up taking the bowl off and doing a quick and dirty uh, you know, just shooting uh, some brake cleaner all up around the uh, needle and seat. Cleaned out the bowl. The bowl did have some debris in it. And that's strange. I haven't used them more since April. It's just been sitting. But the bowl had debris in it. Cleaned that out. I thought for a minute it was the fuel solenoid, but I had already uh, cut that in half. Cut that off, rather. So that wasn't it. So once I did the quick and dirty and put the charger on her, boy, she fired up. I wished it had sound so you could just hear how nice she run at idle. And 978 hours is on this mower. Um, I talk about it a lot, several videos on it. I always go into how I got this mower, how I purchased this mower. I bought it as a spare because I had an L111 and I needed a deck because, you know, these things are famous for the decks right now. Trying to show you right now how many hours. Don't think it shows up. But that Cola Command, man, that's a solid engine. I mean, I put it down on Ida and she just purred. I left it running for almost 30 minutes, you know, to see if it would charge back up. And it did. Uh, when I got through with the deck, charged up beautifully, fired right up. Okay, so now we're moving on. Now that I've got it running, uh, left it on idle. Boy, I kind of wish. I don't know what I did with the sound. I guess I turned the mic off. How that happened, I'll never know. Because I try not to ever touch it. And this is the second time that's happened where the mic's been messed up. But, so... I'm trying to figure out now how those lights are on when the uh, battery charger 
I've unplugged it, but the connections are still on the battery. But that was kind of freaking me out. Why those lights were still lit up and it's not plugged up to any power. So that was funny. That's what I was looking at there. But yeah, I'm going to start working on this deck. And I can't remember who I got this from, who I first saw do this on YouTube with the deck and, um, you know, using some old engine oil to, uh, you know, paint the bottom of the deck, not paint it, but yeah, it is painting it. So this oil that I recycle from, I mean, you know, changing oil a million times, car, truck, all the mowers, push mowers. I just put it right back into the same container. Now I'm trying to find my favorite brush and I'm mad because I don't know where I put the brush. So getting ready to get the deck all done and you know how it is. That's not the one I want. I want to, I have one a little larger and uh, I eventually run across where I put it, but I want to get those blades off. And I'm going to show you guys my blade sharpening stand or, or system where I got my blades all set up at to sharpen my blades rather. And I just, hey, pretty much basic. Got the flap disc um, on the handheld. And hey, we go right to it. So that should be coming up. Still trying to find my brush so that I can... um. Get ready for that deck. Now I'm getting ready to reveal my blade sharpening station and what I use. Now I'm not going to go through the actual sharpening of the blades. There's a million videos out there. I just try to just do an even uh, number. I think I got that from Johnny, Blades of Grass. Just count how many times you hit it on each side. I very seldom balance it. I know that's not good, but hey, that's just what I do. All right, so I'm showing you. There's there's my setup. There's my blade sharpening station, and I'm getting ready to get them blades all sharpened. And we're gonna take care of the deck before I put the blades back on. I said, gotten everything. Got my trusty chair. I found my paintbrush, and we get ready to just go to work there. See, I'm already soaking wet. It's not even lunchtime yet. Shirt is soaked and wet, but it's a little shade in the back. So, and there we go. We're just putting that old oil on there. Nice and drippage. Look at all the drippage. I don't even know if that's a word, huh? <laughs> oh boy, big son making up words. What next? Oh yeah. So just put it on. I mean, it's free. So put it on as heavy as you like, you know? Now, do you, any of you, have you done this? Uh, what do you think about it? I, I, I don't do it regularly, but I've done it over the years, especially on my decks that were really wearing out. This deck was well kept. This more is probably from 2005, 2004, somewhere around there. So it's right 20 years, if not older. Somebody do the math for me and the deck is solid. And normally on these John Deere's, these L series, the first thing to go is the deck. So I thought um, I would do this, you know, try to keep it preserved and get out and get it done today because got a big job coming up tomorrow. Those of you who've been following me, um, I did get that two acre job and I think I'm going to use the rider. I really do. Um, I may regret it uh, afterwards, <laughs> but I think I, I'm going to. It's the only one I'm going to do uh, tomorrow, so I'm not going to be in a hurry. And I'm going to get started about 9, 9.30. And, you know, my first time cutting it, those of you who saw the property and walked it, the back um, has some shady areas. But So I don't know if I want to take my um, zero turns back there quite yet. And then there's some areas where they want me to cut in the path. So I won't mind doing any of that with this more. You know, you can't hurt it. This is a beast. Uh, it'll take it. So that's primarily what I'm getting it ready for. But I'm going to use it today on one yard, you know, give it a nice little test run. But she always come through. So 
I'm finishing up this deck. We're going to get it back on there. We're going to get her loaded up. Um, I did add some more oil. Uh, the tire pressure was fine. I have some tires for the front because one of them was a little ball. But man, I don't know about you guys. Changing tires. God, I dread it. Putting in inner tubes. I dread it. You know, um, but very seldom do you have uh, tire shops that even want to mess with lawnmower tires. So I've learned to get it done. I have my little ways. So we're sitting here now. I was just asking if anybody uh, use old oil and what do you think about it? Have you found it to work? Um, and I'm trying to remember what channel I got it from. It's probably several out there. So drop it in the comments if you know who you've seen uh, do this as well. Yeah, so we get ready to get started here. And um, I'm kind of curious because the more is still running now because I had ran the battery down. And I kept asking, I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you can hear me. I had ran that battery down trying to get it started. So I've still got it on idle. And she idled perfectly. The whole time I'm doing this, it's just idling in the background. You know, because I want to know if the battery is going to charge. So don't know if I've answered it yet, but try not to. So there's the finishing touches on the deck. A nice little coat under there. Yep, get it all around. Oh, yeah, that good old engine oil. Oh, yeah. Good old engine oil. I also put some on the bottom of my Toyota, too, my truck, because they have rust issues. Um, I've used some on my trailer as well. Okay, so I'm just getting all those areas there. And we're going to put the blades back on. And we're going to see if we can get on out of there. <laughs> yep. Call myself working in the shade. And boy, shirt is wet. So we got a nice good coat on there. Okay. Threw the blades back on. Double check them. And she's still idling. Yep. Oh, I wish I didn't mess up the sound so you guys could just hear how nice it was idling. People talk about those Cola Command engines. They uh, say they're bulletproof, and I'm a witness. I know this one I have. Um, and I think when I got the more, I'm trying to think how many hours were on this thing. There it is. It's fired right up. I'm trying to think of how many hours were on the more when I got it. I, I can't even remember. But there it is. She's ready. We got the deck on. Now I'm going to put the charger, start putting everything back up, and maybe we'll go for a ride. I'll idle it up. That's it. Yep, maybe we'll go for a little ride. I idled it back down, and she idled good. Look at that. I'm excited now. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm kind of proud like I really did something. All I did was did a clean and dirty on the carburetor there. Man, I got that charger right there from my dad, man. Bless his heart. It still works. It's old school. Hey, but I'm old school. But uh, keep the batteries charged up. And the truck, the van. And I'll stretch a lawnmower battery. God, I'll get years out of lawnmower battery. Look at her. We're taking a little ride. I'm bragging now. Oh yeah, we taking a little ride. I'm 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 acting like I'm really doing something there. Show it out. Grid to put her up on the trailer. That's it. You know it's got the pedal for forward and reverse. I'm showing out right now, y'all going in reverse. Y'all stop laughing. Oh yeah, get it. Idling it on down. You ready to take her up there? Well, look how wet my shirt is. It hadn't even really done any work yet. But today's supposed to be the hottest day. I would pick the hottest day to try to do a little maintenance, huh? Well, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, you know? Well, I'm glad uh, you stopped by. Those of you who stayed this long, um, I don't know what I did with the sound. I did something, but hoy, 
Hopefully this voiceover work because I've been talking a long time. <laughs> oh boy, I guess we'll see, huh? All right, I'm getting ready to get out of here. Um, those of you who out there may be watching it on your lunch break and you're dealing with the heat. Hey, stay cool out there. This heat ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, I'm only going to probably be out to about 1.30. And that's it. Big Sun going to shut it down, you know. All right. It's been a good one. Look at that. Look at that shirt. <laughs> All right. Y'all take care out there. Let's get it loaded up. See if we can't get something done.